game was absolutely crazy we have a uh, g2 versus bds in game five and uh oh, i actually have no idea what just happened there but uh looks like they restarted the game or something but yeah game five uh g2 ended up going up 2-0 in this series early on uh we are spectating j naps by the way and then uh bds actually came back the next two games so we are on champions field for game five see how it all uh plays out um yeah, there, I have so many thoughts on the major. I probably will just go over some of the thing, some random things I think of throughout the video. Like, I, I I've been so impressed with so many teams, um, just by their energy at land. For an example, like, uh, Com on version one, um, Arsenal on Space Station Gaming. Uh, I mean, besides the uh, like getting loud point, but uh, players' performances as well, such as like Beast Mode, it's been playing absolutely insane. I, f I think that JNAPS was exceptional on uh, G2. Uh, Atomic, this series in particular, played very well, too. Um, Joyo played absolutely insane for uh, Team Queso on uh, day two, at least, which was uh, absolutely wild to watch. He was, like, I feel like he had every single goal. He was literally scoring everything. Double taps, dr air dribbles, just so many just incredibly mechanical, mechanically difficult plays. So it was just uh wow, there's so many there's so many headlines. Um phase kind of ass right now, which is uh may surprise some people. I think they're like the only NA team, uh, besides NRG that's in lowers. Um very well, little spoiler right there, but uh, yeah, version one and uh SSG are all in uppers and then we'll find out how G two is at the end of this game. Um Yeah. BDS has looked pretty good. From the teams I've saw them play, I think Monkey Moon has looked the best per usual. Extra, I thought struggled on day one a bit. Uh, I, I thought he he picked it up in this series though. Mark Bae has been looking okay, uh, and then the whole G two roster as a whole, they've all looked very well this series. I think uh, Chicago looking like a little uh, mm, not bad, but just not quite on the level of Jane Ass and Atomic in my opinion, of course. But uh, maybe Chicago played better than what I thought. But yeah, regardless, all three of them putting in the work. And we'll see how this game plays. Uh, fuck, who else? Furia, BNRG. And that was absolutely a thriller to watch. Uh, Yans is incredible. Uh, KO, I believe is how you pronounce his name. Uh, absolutely, absolute monster in the uh, striking department. Yans is like the more well-rounded player. It's kind of like the monkey moon of that team, in my opinion. And then uh, I feel like, ooh, little, oh, the fake from JNAPS, bro. That was nice. I'm going to go back real quick. Uh, this, look look at this touch. Well, he doesn't get a touch, but everyone has to respect that. And the ball is just floating right in front of their net. And Chicago just slams it home. Everyone's expecting the JNAPS touch, but he just doesn't touch it. He, he calls it off and says, like, yo, take this ball from me. I'm faking this. Or uh, Chicago says, yo, fake that. Just one or the other. And it just works out beautifully. So, yeah, that, that got my neck, too, even though I've seen this already. Like, I t totally did not expect Jane Apps to just let the ball be right there. So, huge plays coming out of G2. This, uh, and BDS, man. Like, both these teams are offensively so crazy. Version 1 have been showing it. Team Case have been showing it. Uh, I mean, Furia 2, for sure. SSG have been showing it as well. Like, I can't wait to see these, uh, the the days with the crowds because like it, it's gonna be crazy i feel like like people are gonna be getting loud as fuck i hope we see this v1 ssg matchup na crime i forget if they're in the same part of the bracket in uh the playoffs um maybe if they both win they will be maybe they are already i'm not sure i haven't really looked at it yet uh fuck there's something else i want to say too this could be bad zero boost for jnaps luckily they get out of that pretty quickly it looks like though um, the Oceana team was looking good with Super Lachy or Super Lachy. I forget how you say his name, but, uh, he was nice. He was good. I thought Scrub was their weakest link. Um, the other dude was, he was okay too. It's just their defense was non-existent. Like their offense wasn't anything crazy too. It was just like taking care of the ball, get a 50 and then like an open net occasionally. It was really weird how, uh, how much space they were getting and stuff. Uh, but their their defense, like they were letting in five goals a game at one point, and that's actually going to be a goal for BDS right here. So we'll go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Hundred boost J Naps. 
respecting this mark by eight. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a little there's a little miscommunication between Atomic and JNAPS here. I think Atomic initially wanted to hit it. Then maybe he saw JNAPS up or he called him off. So he's like leaving it for each other. And then JNAPS just couldn't get a good touch by the end of that uh, play. Because, yeah, at that point, all he can hit it to is Monkey Moon. And Monkey Moon just hits it in. So a little unfortunate there. But 1-1, 38 seconds left. Very, very intense game. The stakes of this game is... Uh, you you make upper bracket in the playoffs on a Saturday or whatever day it is. So and that's crazy. If you're making upper bracket, you're automatically top six. Opposed to if you lose this game, you gotta start off from losers bracket and you're like not even top ten maybe, as crazy as that sounds. Wow, that was almost in. Uh so yeah, it's it's it'll be devastating to lose this game. Absolutely devastating. That could have been a goal right there. That should have been the goal right there. I can't believe how close that was. We'll go back to that later probably and take a look at what happened there. Uh, but yeah, everyone's obviously everyone's trying to win this game. It's kind of fucking crazy. 1-1 OT Champions Field last match of the day, last game of the day. Everybody's getting hyped. Everybody's loving this, including myself, of course. Chicago with the air dribble doesn't. Ooh, he gets it over Monkey Moon extra there, though, to bail him out. Uh, he looks like he's had a pretty good game so far. Can't wait to see the uh, stats at the end to see who's doing what. I feel like JNAP statistically, too, is playing the best this series. Um, although I did notice Atomic playing well. Like, uh, I feel like midway through this OT, I was like, all right, Atomic's in his bag. G2 have, like, way more possession than BDS. But then there was a point where BDS had possession. I was like, ah, shit, maybe I'm wrong. Like, it was so back and forth, man. Like, both these teams' offenses and even defenses, like, it's just, it's crazy to watch. This is peak Rocket League right here. And if this shit doesn't get you hyped, like, nothing will, ever. Literally ever. Even though people weren't, like, screaming at each other also, like, Com and uh, Daniel, or, or not Daniel, but, like, Red Hulls and Arsenal. Even though people weren't, like, screaming at each other and shit, like, this is just, wow, peak Rocket League, bro. You gotta appreciate it, you know? Um... Fuck yeah, what else I want to talk about? NRG though, taking the other Furia. Extra with a shot right there. Could have been bad. Uh, NRG starting off in lowers in NA along with FaZe Clan. Pretty much the opposite of what a lot of people thought, I feel like. People probably thought FaZe and NRG were going to be up top, but uh, it's it's probably going to end up being the opposite after this game. Uh, almost a goal from G2. I don't know if you guys saw that while uh, JNAS was demoed. It looks like uh, BDS is having a little manka moments on the back line jnaps getting a little bump here sticking around the midfield seeing if anything can happen 23 boost turns around right there i love that love that play chicago just kind of flips doesn't look like anything too bad happens from it jnaps gets the flick kind of over him but he ends up getting a demo they like g2 looks like the stronger team right now mark by eight was up really quick for that my god it's just uh Man, these are crazy. Look at the speed from Mark, too. I feel like Mark's playing really well right now for uh, BDS. Besides that one, like, shot that probably should have been a goal. Atomic getting that ball. Almost gets the flick on. Great save coming out of BDS, though. Atomic, once again, gets the ball. He's got probably a boost on the wall. He's getting the air dribble. The pressure is beginning to just really take place here on the BDS half. And I'm, I'm loving it. Chicago down to JNAPS. Ooh. Could have been, it could have been, but it wasn't quite. See what they do with this play right here. Atomic, look at that touch, man. Atomic's balling, bro, I'm telling you. And this could have been something better right here. I think JNAS wanted to pass it back down to Chicago. Otherwise, he probably would have, like, shot it differently or done something else. But uh, he, he tried, like, passing it down as if Chicago was going to keep streaking up, which was a great idea, for sure. Just didn't quite work. Monkey Moon and JNAF now getting a little physical with each other. And uh, BDS might have a little turn on the uh, G2 half. See how G2 deal with this. Air dribble comes from JNAF. Doesn't amount to anything yet. Atomic making extra get the touch. Chicago goes first. Falls right into the hands of Mark. See what he has to offer. A lot of these solo air dribble plays. Teams tend to do this when uh, it's such a close game like this passing is a little more riskier people want to just end the game on a 50 or a solo play you guys know how that goes in the ot moments 
but Atomic finally getting out of the half of the gray dribble, beating one, passes it back to JNAPS, almost gets it to go. It looks like uh, Mark Baeto is going to hit this one kind of away, but it gets into the G2 half, and they're going to keep it in here from this Monkey Moon Challenge. Mark Bae cutting, doesn't get the greatest 50. And Chicago actually gets a huge beat on Mark. Mark tries to stay up and get that uh, aggressive, like, fast play. Oh, and here we go. Atomic to, or uh, j -Nass to Atomic, Atomic to j -Nass, and that's the bucket extra left so fucking fast. Oh, my goodness. It was, this is just poetry in motion. Let's take a look what happened. Atomic's already downfield, so he challenges first, right? Forces extra to get rid of the ball, repositions himself to pass it back down to j -Nass, and that's just going to be the goal. That happened solely because of Atomic, right? j -Naps obviously, pass, beautiful, shot, beautiful, of course. But Atomic, let's go ahead and give him the respect this man deserves. He's already up here. Like, he is just fucking around up here doing just, I don't know, behemoth shit. And he's got 100 boosts on their backboard. Passes it down with the underside of his car. And that's just, that's just nice from the whole G2 team. Fuck it. That's a team effort, not an atomic effort. Love to see that, man. And let's see how close the save was coming out of extra. Uh, I think I didn't even realize he was the one who hit this ball originally. It kind of sucks he got bumped, too. I didn't see that part. If he flipped, maybe he has it. I don't know, but he has, like, such a low boost. And by the, when he flips, like, his car won't be extended out by the time the ball's like in the net if that makes sense like he's gonna be mid flip while the ball's going in so i don't think he could have flipped to save this maybe if he flips like to the left and not a front flip like he flips left when he comes off maybe he gets to that i don't know that's really difficult though regardless mark may be able to get a challenge here uh ah he he j -Naps actually puts it under him that's a good shot from j -Naps. he's trying to block like majority of the net right there but he just can't he can't quite do it take a look at this final scoreboard man 800 points for extra seven saves so much offense coming from both teams what is that uh 13 shots from bds 12 shots from g2 two for 12 one for 13 we're actually going to go ahead and take a look at the uh marpa a shot that uh happened right before ot i really want to see how this one happened that's so unlucky that is so unlucky bro he has um he has 30 boosts, saves it all. Extra with the huge follow-up. And then Mark Baye with the shot. It's just it's fuck dude, that sucks. Cause yeah, J Naps is at like zero. If Mark just puts that on net, it, it's probably good for a goal. That's so unlucky, man. Because he did tweet uh out of this game, like I forget what he said, but it was just like a heartfelt little message, like Someone like how he probably wanted to play better and even Monkey Moon saying how discouraged he was. Like sometimes shit like this makes him want to quit. I was just like, damn, y'all. Like yeah, you guys can easily make the lower bracket run. I would not stress this this much. G2 was a great team in this series and they're a great team regardless. This is not an L that should be like, damn, we should have won this game. Yeah, you probably could have won. But fuck, man. I would not be too down about a loss to this g2 right here this was one of the greatest series ever in my book which is uh kind of crazy to say considering how rocket league has a pretty long history of uh crazy series but this series if you have not watched it i highly recommend watching it start to finish it is it is the highest quality of rocket league i've seen in my fucking life no joke uh yeah little rant over i guess um Thank you so much for 500 subs if you've gone to this far in the video. I really fuck with you. I really appreciate you too. Every single, uh, I don't know, like, comment, and sub it means the world to me. It means that you guys give a shit and uh, I put out content that isn't completely ass. But uh, yeah, it just makes me happy to know I have people who care and uh, whatever. Just listen to what I have to say and conversate with me also. But alright, yeah. Love you guys all very much. Have a great day. Peace.